I'm Chris McHugh. I've worked in traditional television production for companies such as Fox Business Network, Fox News Channel, to regional and local TV stations. I used to produce content with dozens of co-workers and millions of dollars in equipment. But that's not the world we live in anymore. Now I could produce a professional live broadcast integrated with social media by myself with only one computer. Now because I'm a professional, I have high standards and I tried a lot of programs before I found the best one and that's Mimo Live. Mimo Live is the only cost-effective software that gives me the ability to replace a video switcher, character generator, audio board, VTRs, monitors, DVE devices, and still stores. What I want to show you is how you could easily move your entire traditional live broadcast production workflow over to Mimo Live. You can use expensive and professional equipment if you want with Mimo Live. But to start out, I'm going to demonstrate switching cameras and I'm just going to use my Mac's webcam and a standalone webcam. Now, you see that when I open up Mimo Live, it's already got one of my cameras loaded here, the HD Pro Webcam C920, and it's defaulted to the name Main Camera. And you can see here, this is the Sources column. This is where everything feeds into. Now, let's add my IMAX built-in camera. Now you see this column called layer stack that operates like layers in Photoshop and what's ever at the top trumps the things that are below. Take a look, I could switch my main camera on and off by clicking the live button. I can then drag camera two over to the layer stack, hit the live button, and then I could switch between these two cameras. Want a more traditional switching workflow? Easy, just add Mimo Live Switcher. Assign your cameras. And even rename them if you want. Switching is easy, just like that old Grass Valley 3000 switcher that I learned on back in the day. Standby camera two, take two. Standby camera one, take one. So that's just the tip of the iceberg how Mimo Live can replace your switcher. How about your VTRs? There are a lot of options, but let's use a playlist. Drag your files right down. Let's rename it VTR. Put it in the switcher. And voila. Want to turn Mimo Live into your master control? Just add another playlist and add your spots here. Click the non stop button for them to fire off one after the other. Mimo Live can easily replace your character generator, just add it to the layer stack. Stand by lower third, take lower third, stand by to lose it, lose it. Now let's replace your still store with Mimo Live. Just click on an effect like over the shoulder box. Stand by OTS, take OTS, stand by to lose it, lose it. Replacing your audio board in Mimo Live is also super easy. You could adjust any of your sources individually. You could also create multiple audio feeds out. One to a live stream called the live feed here, and another to your headphones or audio monitors in your studio. You could also adjust the potentiometers, and with each source within the outputs, you could solo and mute them. And lastly, Mimo Live could easily replace your DVEs. Want to add a ticker? Just click here. Standby ticker, take ticker. 
Want to add a bug or station logo? It's right here. All too easy. It's an exciting time right now as the media landscape changes, and Mimo Live doesn't just catch you up to everyone else, it puts you well ahead of the curve. Thank you.